Hi, welcome to your beginner's yoga. So this is going to be pretty short. It's going to be about 20 minutes to half an hour and focused on some of the balancing postures. Perhaps you've done the previous two beginner videos which talked you through sun salutations, some basic alignment for your body, and then we worked on a bunch of the standing postures. So in yoga, there's lots of balances. Balances, of course, are great to create strength in the feet, the ankle, the standing leg, but also a sense of kind of balance and steadiness in the mind. You have to be present and focused to balance. If you're distracted, you will fall over. So we'll have a play with that. Come on up and stand on your mat. Take your feet hip width apart, have your arms by your side, and close down your eyes. Put your weight into your right foot and hover your left foot just above the mat, but keep your eyes closed. Notice how wobbly that is. Everything down your right ankle and right foot, readjusting, recalibrating to keep you upright. The body knows what to do. Put your left foot down, keep your eyes closed, pick your right up. Left leg is reorganizing itself from the inside. All the muscle groups talking to each other but still wobbly. Put your right foot down, blink open your eyes. Now fix your gaze a couple of meters on the ground in front of you. Weight into your right foot, pick up your left. Now you can still feel things readjust down your right ankle and your right foot, but with the gaze fixed, you're probably no longer really, really wobbly. And then just switch sides. Good. So, of course, what that means is that when we're in our balancing postures, you need to keep your gaze pretty fixed. A couple of meters on the ground in front of you is ideal. Let's begin. Come and stand on the top of your mat. We'll warm up with one round of sun salutation. A little recap as well. Inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale to fold. Let it go. Palms to shins, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale to fold, plant the hands. Step your feet back, plank pose, shoulders over fingertips, drop your knees. And either hips, belly, chest, or chest, belly, same time to the mat, lower down. Engage your legs, kneecaps, lift, cobra pose. Exhale, all the way up and back, tuck your toes, down dog. Full breath in and down dog, you're welcome to bend your knees a little. Prioritize lengthening the spine, over straightening your legs. Look to your hands, inhale, big step. Halfway lift, top of mat, shoulders away from ears. Exhale, fold. Press into your feet, inhale to stand, reach for the ceiling. Exhale, palms to heart. Bend your knees, sink your hips, weight your heels for chair pose. Full breath in. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Press up to stand. And bring your hands to your heart. Good. Balance into the sole of your right foot. Bring your left knee to your chest. Right hand to hip, left hand to left ankle. Take the left foot as high up your right inner thigh as you can. Now, if you cannot get your foot above the knee, take it below the knee to the inner calf. If your balance is not so great today, take the sole of your foot or the ball of your foot to the mat and the heel to the inner ankle. So option one, option two, Option three, what I don't want is the sole of the foot to the inner knee. It's not gonna be helpful for your right knee. And then equal pressure, foot to thigh, thigh to foot, the two squeeze together. There's an outward rotation in your left thigh, a slight inward rotation in your right, 
a tuck of the tailbone, a lift of the front of the pelvis. Ribs hug in, waist cinches. Arms you can choose, maybe up and overhead. Perhaps palms prayer, perhaps the elbows bend and the wrists hover above the crown. Take three breaths here. This is tree pose or vriksasana. Be steady. One more breath here. Word arms down by your side. Reverse out. Left knee to chest, foot to the mat. Find your balance in your left foot, right knee to chest. Hand to the ankle, remember, option one, option two, option three. No option for the foot to be the inside of the knee. Externally rotate your right thigh, lift the low belly, lift pelvic floor, don't let the ribs flare out. Arms reach up, palms maybe together, shoulders from ears. Breathe, foot to thigh, foot to leg, pressure both directions. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good, arms down. Right knee to chest, foot to the mat. Good. So for these next balances, you are going to want, um, I use a yoga block, but you can use um, a big tall can from the pantry um, or even a thick book or something like that. So a can is probably better than a book, but a big one. Now place that in front of you. Stand with your feet hip distance. Take your hands to your hips and fold forward. Long spine. And then dangle your arms down so the hands hang directly underneath the shoulders. That's where you know the block needs to be. And when it's there, just drop your fingertips to the block. Take your right foot center to the block. Press into your right foot. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. Keep your belly hugging in. From your heel, float your left leg. So look at my left foot. The toes are drawing down to the mat and the heel is pressing away. By doing that, the leg is strong and it's active. My hips are square, so I'm dropping the front of the left hip picking up the front of the right. So I want my low back, my sacrum to be level. I could balance something on there. You can stay here for sure. Those with better balance are wanting to challenge. Maybe bring palms up towards prayer. Maybe arms back. The final variation, full Virabhadrasana, three warrior, three arms forward, palms face each other, shoulder width. Keep that left leg strong and active. Heel presses away. Keep lifting from the buttock crease, from the back of the leg. Hamstrings are engaged. One more breath in. Hands down, foot down. Good. Change sides. Left foot center. Lead from your right heel, toes point down. You lift from the buttock crease at the back of the leg. Find your balance, hug those low ribs in, live through the low belly, energize your right leg, find the balance, maybe palms to prayer, maybe arms wing back, just maybe arms forward. And it's okay for the hands to stay on the block. I'd rather you be there and steady than be up here and flying all over the place. Big breath in, exhale, hands down, foot down. Take your feet hip width apart, fold, just take hold, opposite elbow, opposite hand. You can let your head be heavy here. Full breath in, full breath out. Release your hands from your elbows. 
halfway lift, engage the core. Take just your right hand to the block. Take your right foot center to the block on the mat, hand underneath shoulder again. And then take the block a little further from your foot and an inch over towards the right so it's not quite center. Press into your right foot, left hand, left hip. Send your left leg behind you, left leg behind you. This time, turn your left toes to the side, keep the heel pressing away so you can stack your left hip up over the top of your right. You're rolling your right ribs under and your left ribs back. It's like you're trying to spin your chest towards the ceiling. Maybe left hand stays to the hip. Perhaps it reaches high, palm faces what you're facing. We call this half moon. Find your right shoulder and then roll your right shoulder blade down your back into the midline so there's space for the neck. Maybe you lighten your right hand. Hold. Final offering, gaze up towards left hand. Big breath in, keep kicking that left heel away, keep lifting the left leg. Exhale, left foot down hands down. Switch the block towards the left side, left hand to block, left foot to mat. And the exact position of the block depends on your body, so you can play around with that. Right hand to hip, right leg lifts. Keep pressing your right heel away as you roll the hip on top of the left, toes draw back to the knee, toes point long edge. Breathe. Find that left shoulder blade, draw it down the back. Open your chest to the side wall. Maybe right arm reaches for the ceiling, palm faces what you're facing. Hold, breathe. Externally rotating that left thigh so you can feel the left glute switch on and support you here, full breath in. Exhale, foot down, grab on opposite hand, opposite elbow, relax in. One more breath here. Release the elbows, press into the feet, unravel all the way up. Good. Feet are hip width, chair pose. Balance into your left foot, come to your right tiptoes. Lift your right foot, cross your right thigh over your left, and then tap your right toes to the outside of your left foot. Keep a bend in the knee so you're sitting into the seat. Some of you might be able to pick those right toes up and double wrap them around the back of the left calf muscle. It's quite a lot, so you might not be able to do that. Hold. Take your arms wide. Cross your left arm over your right, above the elbows. Then bend the elbows, back of hands together. Either stay there or scissor them so the palms come together. Elbows pull forward, shoulders away from the ears. Try not to lean too far forward. If you're not bending your standing leg, this is going to be much harder. We call this eagle pose or garudasana. Full breath in. Stay for your exhale. Unravel your arms. Unravel your legs. Come to stand. So what we're doing here is creating a tangle of limbs, a confusion of right and of left. And then when you untangle, there's this big sense of release and freedom. Other side, chair pose, left leg over right, tap the big toes. Either stay here or extra balance challenge, wrap the toes around the calf. Arms up, opposite arm on top, 
Right arm over left, above the elbow. Bend the elbows, back of hands together, or scissor switch, palms. Shoulders away from ears, elbows forward. Breathe and fix your gaze. Tendency to hold your breath. Big breath in. Stay for exhale. Unravel your arms. Unravel your legs. Pause in mountain pose. Close your eyes. One more breath here. Blink open your eyes. We have one more balance. Hands to hips, chair pose your legs. Take your right ankle, rest it on your left thigh, so above your knee. Flex your foot a lot, so heel is pressing away, toes are drawing back towards the knee. The knee presses down and away, and there's pressure, ankle to thigh. Bend your standing leg and sit back into your left heel, so the more you sit back, and bend deep. Actually, the more compact your body will be, so the better your balance will be here. Perhaps hand stays to hips, or maybe you reach your arms forward. Find two more breaths here. If you fall out, that's okay. Just come back in, fix the gaze like we spoke about. Try not to fidget. Big breath in. Stay breath out. Hands to hips, rise on up, foot to mat. Good. Other side. Hands stay hips, chair pose, legs. Left ankle, right thigh. Take time to organize your body. Don't just come into these shapes and expect it to work bit by bit. So soften the right toes. Sit into your right heel. Try and feel your right glutes activate here. Press your left heel away. Press your left knee away. Belly hugs in, waist cinches in. Maybe arms reach forward. That's a maybe. Hold. Breathe. One more breath. all the way up and down to Dasana Mountain. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, you can fold. Halfway lift, breath in. Fold, breath out. Step your left foot back. Drop the knee down. And then take your right foot over to the left side and drop your right knee behind your right wrist. I'm going to turn on an angle so you can see me a little better here. Right knee behind the wrist, toes to the left. Ideally, your right knee is going to be wider than your hip. You want to stay pretty square to the front of your mat, so don't just drop off to your right side. You might have some space between right sit bone and the ground, and you can always grab your book or your block and slip that underneath there for some support. Look back and check your left toes along, behind, untucked, and then go on and fold forward. Now some people, you might just be on your hands and it's enough. Others will drop onto the forearms, and some of you might even drop your forehead down to your stacked palms. If you're experiencing any pain here, particularly in that right knee, draw those right toes back towards the knee and press the ball of the foot away from you. That'll create some activation as well as stretch and it might just help support the knee joint. If this is still not okay for your right knee, you can come all the way down onto the back of your body 
and take a figure four. So just like when we were standing, left foot to the ground, right ankle, left thigh, and then hug your left knee in towards your chest. You'll still get a good stretch in the right glutes. It's not quite the same as pigeon pose, but it's a pretty good alternative. So up to you. Whatever you've chosen to take, try and relax a little bit. Close your eyes. Our balances require a lot of strength in the standing leg and in the glutes. So this is a really nice counter posture. It's a chance to get deep into the muscles that we were asking to be strong. It's a really nice benefit of the yoga practice is that we create strength and mobility and flexibility, all of it rolled into one class, one practice. One more breath wherever you are. If you're on your back in that figure four variation, just release the right leg and switch over to the left side. If you're in your pigeon pose like I am, come up to your hands and then just slip your right leg back into your all fours. And you can change that. Left leg will come forward, knee behind wrist. Remember, knee wider than the hip, toes over to the right. And don't grab your right foot and jam it to the top of the mat. It's okay if your heel is closer to the groin. Slip your left leg behind you, un sorry, right leg behind you, untuck the toes, and then square to the front of your mat, square hips. If you're dropping over to that left side and you can't lift up, Grab your book or your pillow and just slip it underneath the left buttock. When you're ready to come forward, down onto your forearms, or maybe all the way down, forehead to ground. This is a strong posture, or it can be a strong posture for most people. So please take your time to find your way into it and to shift and move around a little bit to find the perfect variation for you. Expect sensation, but please don't expect any pain or don't sit with any pain, particularly in the joints. Coming out and using your other variation, the figure four. Settle in, take a few breaths. Allow time for the tissues in the body to settle, to feel safe and then respond. Last breath here. And come on up to your hands. If you have a block there, slip it away. This time drop to the left hip. Swing your right leg around. Find your way into a seated cross leg. If you're on your back in the figure four, come on up. Rest the hands down to the knees, close the eyes. Let's take a moment to notice how the body feels. Take a big breath in. Slow exhale, maybe through the mouth. Again, big breath in. Slow exhale from the mouth. Reach your arms up overhead. Bring the palms down towards the chest. Thank 
you for balancing with me. I hope it was helpful. Namaste.